What's up everybody, Jared here with CarBuzz.com and today I'm driving the 2023 Toyota Highlander. This vehicle has been updated for the 2023 model year and I'm gonna share with you five things that you need to know about it. So the first thing you need to know about the 2023 Toyota Highlander is that it drops the V6 gas engine. Instead, you get a 2.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, which is the same one that you get in the Lexus NX. This new turbocharged four-cylinder engine produces 265 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. Now the old V6 produced more power, 295 horsepower, but a lot less torque, only 263 pound-feet. You'll notice that that higher torque number means that you can accelerate without much effort. That means you get more low down response and for Toyota's benefit, lower emissions. With this new four-cylinder engine, you'll average about 25 miles per gallon. You can also tow about 5,000 pounds. And if you stick with this four-cylinder engine, you can get front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, both going out through an eight-speed automatic transmission. And for about $4,000 more, Toyota will also offer the Highlander as a hybrid. The hybrid is a bit down on power with 243 horsepower coming from a two and a half liter four-cylinder. But while you lose a little bit of power, the hybrid is much more efficient. Instead of 20 25 mpg combined you'll get 36 mpg combined and honestly while i like this new four cylinder engine i think the real reason why you'd want to buy a highlander is for the hybrid there is no suv on the market right now with three rows like the highlander that gets anywhere near 36 mpg so i think the hybrid is still the main reason why you'd want to buy this car now we're going to focus on the second big improvement with the 2023 highlander the interior. Now that we're done talking about what's under the hood, let's focus on the next area where the Highlander makes a huge improvement for 2023, the interior. An eight inch touchscreen comes standard, but you can also opt for this larger 12.3 inch touchscreen. This touchscreen is a huge improvement over the outgoing unit for several reasons. For starters, this infotainment can now go full screen. On the previous Highlander, you would always have your climate controls or radio controls, and there was no way to get rid of it. This system also gets the latest version of Toyota's infotainment system. System, meaning it has strong technologies like wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. It also has really good voice commands. Hey Toyota, tell me a joke. I ate a clock the other day. It was very time consuming. <laughs> the lower and mid-level trims of the Highlander still get analog gauges. But if you opt for the limited and platinum models, you can get a second 12.3 inch screen that replaces the gauge cluster. These gauges have different visual modes that you can use, including casual, smart, tough, and sporty. One of my favorite features of the Highlander's interior was the parcel shelf. You had a little shelf under here and another shelf that the passenger could use. Toyota used to hide the wireless charger in the armrest, but now they've made it much more handy right here on the parcel shelf. If you don't want to wirelessly charge, you have USB and USB-C ports down here with some nice storage. Now for the third thing you need to know about the Toyota Highlander, the practicality. Lower trim Highlander models are available with a bench seat back here, meaning you can seat up to eight passengers, but higher trim versions like this XSE are gonna come with separate captain's chairs. The kids back here can slide and recline their seats using these controls to get more comfortable. They get a little cup holder console in between the captain's chair, standard three zone climate control so that they can adjust their own temperature. And down here, they get USB-C ports to keep their devices charged. In terms of cargo space, the Highlander is not the largest vehicle in its segment. As you can see, there is a decent amount of space behind the third row, about 16 cubic feet. You also get a small storage area underneath the floor. Folding the third row down can be done manually using these two levers. With the third row down, you get a little over 48 cubic feet of space. Unfortunately, there's no way to lower the second row seats from the trunk. With the second row folded, you get a little over 84 cubic feet of space. The fourth area we're going to focus on is styling. The 2023 Highlander doesn't look tremendously different from the outgoing model, but there are some cool touches on this XSE model that I've been driving today. The XSE is the sportiest looking version that you can get of the Highlander. As you can see, the front grille is very different from what you'll get on other Highlander models. That sporty appearance is continued with these black wheels and black mirror cap. At the back, you get a sporty looking diffuser with some nice looking exhaust tips, and up top, you get a pretty nice looking spoiler. And I think parents and kids will absolutely love the XSE's interior. Just check out these super cool black and red two-tone leather seats. You also get 
red stitching on the dash. I think the XSE is by far the sportiest and most aggressive looking Highlander, but there are other ways that you can option this vehicle if you want to look cool. For example, Toyota offers a bronze edition that gets really cool bronze wheels and bronze accents, and there is a really nice new green color for the 2023 model year. All right, so now let's wrap up with the fifth thing that you need to know about the 2023 Toyota Highlander, and that is how much it costs. All right, so there are a bunch of different Highlander trims to choose from, including L, LE, XLE, the XSE that I drove, Limited, and Platinum. There's also a few hybrid only trims like the Bronze Edition. If you want the base Highlander L with front wheel drive, that's gonna start at 36,420. Opting for the fully loaded Highlander Platinum with all wheel drive is gonna run you 51,225. The Highlander Hybrid starts with the LE trim for $40,220. Loading all the way up to the Highlander Hybrid Platinum with all-wheel drive is going to run you 52425 If you're looking at one of those fully loaded Platinum models, stepping up to the Hybrid is only going to cost you a little over $1,000. In fact, it's only about $1,200 to opt for the Hybrid in most comparable trim levels. As I mentioned earlier, the Hybrid gets way better fuel economy than this new turbocharged four-cylinder, and I honestly like how the Highlander Hybrid drives better. So if you're in the market for a new 2023 Toyota Highlander, I think you should stick with the hybrid. I really hope you've enjoyed this look at the 2023 Toyota Highlander. For more videos like it, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell to be alerted of our latest videos. And if you want to read more about the 2023 Toyota Highlander, be sure to check out carbuzz.com. I'll see you next time.